Hey folks, this is Jeff Hankerson here, and uh, we're going to create a simple image gallery in Drupal 7. Uh, there's, like most things in Drupal, there's more than one way to do it, but we'll use views and, uh, you know, some node types and fields to uh, accomplish this today. So it'll be a simple image gallery, and along the way we'll learn a few things about uh, node types, fields, and views. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and uh, check to make sure we have the right modules going. Uh, I haven't done anything yet except for install Drupal 7 and uh, add a few modules. So let's just take a quick look at the modules we will need to uh, make this happen. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, kind of look over here and our modules list. And from Drupal core, we're going to need the field module, which presumably would mean we need the uh, field storage and field UI. We also need the file module and down here the image module. And from core, I think that's all we're going to need. Mm, the overlay module is nice. You don't have to have it on, but it makes uh, the Drupal admin experience a lot nicer. And also the toolbar or, or admin menu if you have that available. Um, views requires chaos tools in Drupal 7, so we need that turned on. And Going down here, we will also need. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the only other things is views and views UI. That's all we need. So just make sure you have all of those modules available. So um, to repeat here, uh, let's just uh, go over that real quickly once again. We need field module, field SQL storage, field UI, file module, image module. C tools, and uh, way down here at the bottom, we need views and views UI. So make sure you have those modules available. And uh, the next thing we can do is go ahead and create our content type. So we can go to structure, content types, and let's add one. It's called image. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to go with all the default options here. And save it. And to this image, we want to add a field uh, called photo. which will be of type image and use an image widget. Hit save. We could set a default image here. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Default image would be if there wasn't an image uploaded, then we would have a default. Uh, there's a lot of options here. Uh, I'm going to just put in the file directory. This is the directory within the, the public files directory that will uh, hold our photos. The only reason to do that is just to keep things a little more organized. Um, we could make this a required field. We could allow different file types. Um, we can set image upload sizes. Uh, I'll just make one note here. 100 PHP's maximum post and file upload sizes currently in 100 megabytes. You have to set that in your PHP INI file, or depending on your hosting situation, your hosting company may set that for you, uh, and sometimes a lot lower than you'd like it to be. Um, this is just on my local machine, so I can set it to whatever I want. Um, however, 100 megabytes, is you, you know, unless you're doing video, is usually pretty big for images, so e even 10 megs would be big. Um, but just be aware of that if if this is set really low, like at one megabyte or something, it's in the php.ini uh, configuration file. And if you're hosting with cheap shared hosting, uh, you may not be able to get around that. Uh, but uh, hopefully that's going to be at a reasonable level for you. So I'm just going to take all the rest of the defaults here. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Uh, and I also don't really want a body field on this. So I'm just going to get rid of it. 
So we have the photo and the title. And I don't think I need to hit save again, but in case we don't. Um, here uh, in our node settings, we can say uh, we'll go with a large image and link it to the file. So we've got an image content type now. So we can go ahead and add content and see that we have image available. And so we can just uh, go ahead and start adding some images. So let's do that. I got some uh, images here that I'm going to add and upload that one. Save it. And uh, add another, I'll add about three. So we have enough to make a passable gallery here. Um, and one more. Great, so we now have uh, our image content type. We've got a couple of uh, image nodes, you know, as we can see here, set up. And we need now need to make our view. And our view is, is going to be the listing of images, basically. So let's go ahead and make that into a page by using views. Um, here we're at the views page, and we do add new. And uh, one of the things I like in Drupal 7 is it kind of has this uh, quick start uh, thing in, in view. So uh, I think, and it's really helpful, uh, is I think, to, to just get it. So you say content type of image tagged with, that would be for taxonomy. New is first, yeah, that's fine. Um, put it on a page called gallery, add a path of gallery. We'll make this a grid of fields and display 10. Yeah, everything else looks like it's pretty good to our quick start here and we can fine tune it as we go. So we can filter t type image and um, we want to add uh, the actual photo field here. So here's the photo field, let's add that. And we want to use an image style, of, mm, let's say square thumbnail. Uh, link image to the content, or in this case, that would be the node. And uh, go ahead and apply that. I also think, you know, that's showing us here already, we've got a decent looking view. Um, I think I want to do a couple things here. Uh, I want to rearrange this so we have the photo first. And I want to get that label off of the photo. So we'll just take the create label off. And there we go. Um, we'll go ahead and save that. And we now have our basic photo gallery. We can go to our gallery page. And there it is. Um, each one of these will link to the actual node. And uh, there you have it, basic gallery in Drupal 7. Now I'm going to do another screencast here in a few minutes uh, with some more advanced options. Uh, maybe we'll do a little light box type pop up from the image gallery page and maybe we'll work on uh, doing multiple galleries so that you're not stuck with just one page with an endless list of images. All right, well, thanks for uh, checking out the screencast, but that's a basic image gallery and Drupal 7. Hope you enjoyed it.